Hi, in this video I will show you how to work with tabs on mobile view using Elementor Pro. So I have a website here that I've built and I have a tab section. So if I click on one of the titles, it shows the section below corresponding to the title that I clicked on. Now, if I go over to my mobile view, what I want to achieve and what I will show in this tutorial is if I go to my section right here. So on my mobile view, my tab titles are next to each other and they are in one or several rows depending on how many tab titles you have. And once I click, basically they stay on top of my tab element and the section below changes. So this is what we will be doing in this tutorial. So I have an empty page here and in Elementor, I'm using Elementor Pro. So I will type that tabs widget and I will just put it here. Let's create several items just for the sake of this video. Let's say introduction. Then let's say overview, benefits, let's say pricing, and for example, conclusion. Click on update. Now I won't go too much into styling. If you would like to see how to create a custom section in your tab, in your tab element, uh, I will show this in one of my next videos. For example, like here where you have icons, you have different structure, columns and so on. So this will be shown in one of my next tutorials. Right now, we will just see how to work with this uh, tab titles on mobile. I will quickly go to the style and remove the border. In the content tab, I will put this to center. And uh, let's say that for now, this is all I want to do. I will click on update and if I refresh my page, you can see that on desktop view, this works just fine. If I go over to my mobile view, however, you can see what happens and this is not what I want. So we have the titles and our sections below, but when we click on a title, uh, the titles above them, above the title basically shift or the content shift so that it is only showing uh, below that specific title. What I want to achieve is to put titles next to each other and on one or several lines that stay on top of my tab element and the content is always below all the titles. So this is what we will be doing in this tutorial. First, uh, I will go back to my Elementor page, go to the advanced section here. If I scroll down, I will find custom CSS field that's available with Elementor Pro. If you're not using the Pro version, you would have to use some plugin where you can edit your CSS code like custom CSS and JavaScript. Uh, so I will start by doing by typing selector and then Elementor tabs wrapper. This is a class that Elementor gives to your tab wrapper element, which is basically this top part here. You can find this out, uh, out about this in, if you're using inspect, inspect elements. So just use this class. And then the first thing we want to do is display. Display, we will put to flex. What this does, if you click on update, you can already see the change. So this puts our titles next to each other. Now don't pay attention to these doubled titles that we have two of them. I will show you in a little bit why and how we can get rid of them. So the next thing actually is that you can see that the, it is showing only three of five of our titles. And in order to show all of them and not to hide uh, the rest of them, because right now pricing and uh, conclusion are hidden on top of our tab element. In order to show them, we want to use flex wrap and put this to wrap. Then we will use justify content center I will also do WebKit box pack center. This is just to style this a little bit and list style none to clear my styling. Click on update and you can already see that it's look looking better. So my titles are on top, the, all of them are showing, nothing is hidden and they stay on top. Now let's see how to get rid of these uh, titles. Now why are they showing is that basically what we were styling now on top of our tab element are desktop titles. Elementor uh, creates additional mobile titles for our tab element, which are exactly these ones that are showing, but we do not need them. So we will just hide them 
and type selector and then we will type Elementor tab mobile title and I will set display to none. This should hide them. If I click on update, you can see that they're gone. And now we'll just do very quick styling of the titles because I want to change the color for the active title, for the hover state and the normal state. So let's just quickly uh, do that. I will type in selector and then Elementor tab desktop title and I will type A because these titles are actually links that are linking to the sections below. I will set color to black and put the important. Uh, then let's also style the hover state. For this, basically, I will use the, the exactly the same um, the same callout here, with the only difference that I will add hover here after the A tag, and let's say opacity I want to set to 0 0.5, and then I also want to style my active state of the titles, so selector. And I will type um, Elementor tab desktop title. And then we will also type dot Elementor active. And we will add A because it's a link. So this will actually style the active state uh, for the current section that's showing. And let's say the color I want to be red. I'll add important and click on update. If I refresh my page and I want to show it in the normal view this time, you can see that on hover this changes. If I click on benefits, it changes the color. And this is actually the styling that we did. One last change that I would like to do is that on mobile view, I would like to reduce these paddings a little bit so that it looks a little bit more condensed. And we can simply do this by actually typing again selector and then Elementor tab desktop title. And then we will adjust the paddings. So I will type here padding top, let's say 10 pixels and padding bottom 10 pixels. Click on update and there you have it. So that's it. That's how you work with tabs and its titles uh, on in mobile view. I hope you like this video. If you have, feel free to like, comment or subscribe.